from Columbus Crew Stadium, where tonight the Black and Gold play their second of a five-game stretch against the Eastern Conference that'll likely determine their postseason fate in 2012. It's Birchall getting a rest this evening. He'll be on the bench. Danny O'Rourke slides into that defensive mid-roll because Chris Birchall's been through a power of work. Jerry Benson up front, coming back from the Olympics with his performances with Honduras, partnering Sen up there. A good guy. Black and Gold will attack the south end of Crew Stadium here tonight. Ironically, that means New England will play the first half going to the north. Not at a long. Failhopper right in front. Header is wide. And Guy would like to have another try at that one. Yeah, you have to say the Columbus crew dodged a bullet there. Great ball in from Benny Fieldhaber. Ryan Guy should have done better. Fieldhaber drifted into the open space, got the ball, and played a beauty. Oh, great ball and an excellent run by Ryan Guy. All time, but particularly here, the capital city, the Buckeye State. It's a 15 to 6 advantage in wins. Shot, goal! Wow. And that one silenced the crowd here in Columbus Crew Stadium. Pretty much out of nothing, just a little layoff. And Ryan Guy just took a little deflection by the looks of it. Andy Grenenbaum going down to his right. And off a little deflection, that ball's gone back inside his near post. So Ryan Guy with his first goal of the season and a strike from distance. 1-0 New England Revolution. Tell you, having been down on that field, space is definitely closed down a lot quicker. And uh-oh, good outlet and an onside run and an open goal, and it's two nothing New England. Wow, that was Josh Williams keeping Benson onside. And again, you see Josh Williams out there on that left-hand side. Andy Grenabon flags out, can't get there, and. Banks it in off the post, 2-0. Good finish, good cool calm collective finish in the end with Josh Williams flying across trying to keep it out. There's Benson. Have to put some pace on it from this distance. Good 25 yards out. He goes, he does, and he scores! What a world-class goal. Let's see that again. Look at this strike from Federico Higuain. Over the wall, bending down, and Matt Rees. So much pace on it, he just can't get there. Look at that again, right in the top corner. That is a world-class free kick from the newest Columbus crew member. New England to re-establish a two-goal lead, and they should have. Over the top, and onside is Arrieta with an opportunity to level the match. How about that? 2-2! Two -two! And there you see it, Arrieta's fourth goal of the season, and he certainly puts an exclamation point on it. Morosevic with a great through ball, and getting kept onside by Tanny, and then saved that one. I mean, that is just smashed into the top corner, and those are nearly unstoppable. What a strike from the young Costa Rican on his birthday. Birthday gift, just 29 years young today, and there's a gift for you. Guys that know how to control the pace of a match. Higuain for the lead! Are you kidding me? Making his head coach proud. Oh, wow. I mean, two sublime free kicks. Federico Higuain.
What was that about the crew not scoring more than two goals in a game? Oh, I'll tell you what, look at that again. Poor Matt Reeves, what can you do? Just superbly struck right in the corner. And thank you very much. How's your father, Frederico Higuain? And he deserves to smile after those two. What a pair of beauties. Scored a couple of goals so far this season. Here's an opportunity. And that's a penalty kick called against Julius James. So there's at least one more twist left in this one. We see it again. Julius James just letting Fagundes get the wrong side of him. You see that arm around the body of Fagundes, and that's why the referees called that one. He can see that arm from his position. You see it again here, that left arm of Julius James just around the body, and when Fagundes goes down that way, the referee's probably going to call it because he's pulling him. An opportunity in the 81st minute for New England to get on level terms. Here's the shot. 3-3. Cool, calm, and collected from Lee Wen. Let's look how we got to this point. And you see James not really looking at the ball originally, but then that left arm is the one that's caused him trouble. He's not really pulling hard. He's not really fouling much. That's why you see his confusion, but leads to this. And a great finish in the end from Wen on the penalty kick to make it 3-3. Game tied up. Shouting instruction to his troops. Johnny over the top. And onside, Arrieta! And almost from nothing. And there he is on his birthday. He won't be outdone. It's just a throw in that Milovan Morosevic just pops over. Then a great touch from Chani. Good run out of Arietta. And it's, it's really all too simple. Just running onto a ball, a big hole. Great finish by the little Costa Rican. And 4 3. What a barn burner. Well, I mean, your team scored goals. You've got to be happy with that. Tighten things up at the back, and again, a hole in that position. For the hat trick! Shaves the post. How does he keep running? How are they not realizing that he's free in the middle there? And you see it, oh, and just, just ever so close to that near post. Now, Robert Barzia saying, I thought it was three minutes. Corner kick, back side of the box, probably the last opportunity of the game. Lampson gets to him, and the referee blows his whistle. Down two in the first half, Columbus takes a 3-2 lead. New England levels the match in the second half only to see Arietta tally his second. Two goals for Arietta.